Okay. Uh -huh. Showing up really relates to my life more than anything else. All right. But do you, do you decorate an entire party and then no one shows up? God, that is a good story, though. That's okay. such a good story. All right. Now, hey, we're gonna we're gonna go through a couple notes here. Uh, have your practice guides out. Uh, test tomorrow. If you did not receive a practice guide, uh, give you one. Yeah. All right, there we go. Nose, nose duck. I got two of them. Video's online if you need to see that first half. Okay. Yeah. We just gotta get through those. All right. Okay, yesterday, um, I, I clearly warned the people that were here. The first problem is can either be a sine or cosine problem. So you just gotta be able to draw it. Uh, something where I shift it up and down, maybe possibly right or left. It's gonna have a period and or a amplitude affected. Okay. Shh. Second problem, um, expect on number two, it will be a secant or cosecant. To do those problems, you have to draw the sine or cosine graph first, and then you draw it very lightly, then you go off of that where the asymptotes go. We did that one yesterday. We did the cotangent. Number three will be a tangent or cotangent graph. Either right and left shift, up and down shift. It could have amplitude. It could have you know, different uh, frequencies, so make sure you know that. And we finished with number four yesterday where we graphed um, some type of rational function where there was some type of fraction, and you had to go figure out you know, symmetry, the horizontal asymptotes, the vertical asymptotes, all that good stuff. Um, so those are the parts we did. We are going to start today with number five. It is a similar problem. These are the ones we spent the most time on, so we might as well do these. Um, so um, we have to do the x-intercepts, y-intercepts first. I usually do those. Um, figure out you know where the horizontals are, because that tells you what end behavior tails are. And then do vertical asymptotes, all that good stuff. Put it all together to draw this. Now, how do we find x-intercepts? Factor. Factor. Factor what part? Numerator. 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 Top. If you yep. factor the top. X plus three, X minus two. Boom. Oh. Okay, so when you factor the top, that's a difference of squares on number five. Um, that, those are your X intercepts. X's are always on the top. So those two X intercepts are positive three and negative three. So, so far, this is looking like it could be symmetrical. It is. Okay? It's not. I don't think it is. Though. It's could. Not. It's not. Could. It's not. It's not. It's not. Well, not. There's a mix of even and odd powers. I can't, I can't hear what? I just said what he said. Oh, sorry. I can't hear that. All right. Um, okay. All right. On the bottom, um, on the bottom, we're going to factor the bottom. It is a common factor on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to pull out an X first. So if I pull out the X, that is X squared plus 3X minus 4. Now, that is a trinomial rule. That trinomial could be anything. I know. Types of trinomials that really confuse you guys, where if I put a number out in the front. Oh, for sure. Um, you got to be prepared for anything. It could be a cube rule, it could be a difference of squares, it could be common factor only. Um, in this case, we have a common factor and a trinomial. Just be kind of ready for any What's type of problem. Rule again? Cube rule is where the small parenthesis, big parenthesis, where you have to do a binomial and the trinomial on the back using soap. Use it the same opposite, nobody's positive. Oh, oh. So. Oh. Where, where are your glasses? Uh, here. Oh. I mean, put them on. All right. Now, um, factoring the top, or sorry, factoring the bottom. Um, we have, uh, this is a minus sign in the back, so it's going to be automatically plus minus. Um, that's going to be an x and an x. And then breaking the 4 in the back to make the 3 in the middle, because the 4, the 4 in the back is affecting the 3. There's no number in the front, so that I don't have to worry. It's 4 and x minus 1. Yeah, you're probably right. 4 and 1, because i got to get a positive 3 in the middle. Yeah. Okay, and if there was a number out front, if, if the number's out front, that affects the middle number as well. So you have to really pick and choose. Okay, now, there is three vertical asymptotes. Zero, one, negative four. Zero, one, and negative four. It's whatever makes these zero. If there's an X out front, that's always a zero. If there's no X out front, you wouldn't have a zero there. It's just because the variable's out front, you always have that as a zero. So there's a vertical asymptote at zero. So that means there's no y-intercepts. I don't even have to check that. There's one at, uh, what, negative four and positive one. So in this particular graph, there is something very, there's what, four different pictures going on here. There's a picture on the left side. 
there's a picture here, there's a picture really skinny in the middle, and then there's a picture off to the right. So there's actually like four different pictures here. Uh, there's always, however many vertical asymptotes you are, there's always one more picture. So there's four pictures, so there's three vertical asymptotes. Um, now, we got the vertical, we have x-intercepts, there's no y-intercept because that, that, uh, that vertical asymptote's right on that origin, so there's no, there's no y-intercepts. So I didn't have to check that. How do you check y intercepts? You plug zeros into all the x's, top and bottom. It's zero. Uh, well, you don't even have one. So, all right. Um, horizontal. If we have one, horizontal. The the bottom is too large, right? The bottom is too large. So we have a horizontal at zero. If the bottom is larger, there is a horizontal at zero. So. So there is a horizontal asymptote. Now, I know this seems weird because you're like, well, Ward, you have a bunch of dots on the x-axis. The horizontal just basically tells us where the tails end up going. The outside, the end behavior tails. That's all it is. It, you can go through it. It's, it's kind of fluid. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to guess where this thing's at. Um, it... I mean, in this particular case, I don't have a lot of information here. Um, if, if I want to plug in numbers and be super exact, fine. I'm just going to make an educated guess with what this thing is doing. Um, I'm going to guess that it's probably doing something like this. Uh, probably doing something like this. Um, I want to, in the middle, I'll just put one up here maybe or... Yeah, let's put something up here. Why do you think the... Oh, no, no. Do you and, just randomly guess? Yeah, I'm guessing where these things are going. And then on the other uh, one uh, over here, I'm going to go like that. I don't know. I could have it the other way around. I'm, I'm guessing. i it the other way around. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Why do you like, think that middle one's on the top? Cause I don't know. I just guess. <laughs> could we guess along? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the problem. Like, with these, like, we don't have a graphing calculator in front of us, so... Your graph may not be exact, and that's fine. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Your graph can be different than your neighbors. You're making an educated guess where you think it's at because you're showing me that, number one, you know where the x-intercepts are. Can I go through them? Do I know where the tails on the outside will flatten out to? And do, will I make sure that in certain locations I do not touch the x-axis? Uh, in this case, it's however many pictures you have that you kind of have just the arrows that you need. So in this case, I have four pictures, four distinct pictures. So there is literally four pictures up there in between every vertical asymptote. Should the last picture go up though? What? Should the last picture go up since it starts down? It could. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you want, I mean, if I want to do that, maybe I can put this one over here and just kind of go down and kind of go up like that. That's fine. Maybe make an educated guess. Yeah. Well, I. The only reason I did it that way is because my other one right next one was going up. So I just made this one go the opposite wow. direction. It doesn't matter. You, you could be more correct than I am. I'm just making an educated guess. I didn't plug any X's in to really kind of see where I'm at. Because a real quick check is just to take an X and plug it in and see what happens. That would be a more exact guess. I'm just making a quick stab at it. All right. I'm moving on. A lot of people are talking. I'm moving on. All right. Do it. Thank you, Mr. Ward. Is this a homework problem? All right. Okay, number six. Yeah, these are all homework problems. Okay. All right. So, Ward, uh, after class, could you like give me four, like an example of each type of one, like one that's bigger about one on the top, one that's so I can like practice each type. On um, the drawing, the last point. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. There's an answer for each. It could be a quick answer. It could be one that goes to infinity. It could be a, a does not exist. It could be a simple number. Um, remember, when the symbol comes after the number, you're approaching from a certain lo location. So I'm approaching from the left versus the right. So if there's no symbol after it, like this one, you're approaching from both directions and seeing if they go to the same number. Okay. Um, I would consider this a smooth curve right here. Um, I could definitely see others saying that it's too sharp and it's going at different angles so that the limit wouldn't exist. I'm going to say that it does. Uh, I'm just going to say that's smooth. I'll kind of worry on test day whether I think that certain spot is a very sharp angle versus very smooth. I think this one looks smooth. I don't know. That's just me. Wait, um, why is there a plus after the C? Uh, because you're approaching from both directions. Okay. So you really have to check if it's going to the same number. That's one that could potentially not exist. When you approach from both because they don't have the plus or minus in after it, 
These are the ones that you, you probably are going to need to put do not exist if they don't approach the same number. As opposed to if you approach from one direction, you could say infinity or negative infinity. Because it would go a certain direction. All right, so let's just start. If I approach one from the left side, so I'm coming from, I'm going to one on the x axis from the left. Again, these are x numbers. I'm approaching the x axis from the left side at one. What, what is my answer looking like on the y axis? Looking like one, right? So that's your first one. Looks like I'm going to one. All right, let's go to the next one. As I approach one. We don't one, have to draw it, we just answer. No, you're just answering the question. Um, as I approach one from the right side, so one from the right side now on the x-axis. It don't exist. It's going towards negative infinity. Now, I, I understand it doesn't exist, right? It doesn't exist, but if you're approaching from one direction, you can actually tell me which way it's going. I know it doesn't exist, I don't right? Know it's it's negative. So uh, it's yeah, going down. Can you explain that? I kind of got lost there. So if you approach from one direction, yeah. like this, approaching from the right side, and you notice that it's going this direction, right? It's going that way. That's where the graph you're is going. So as I go closer and closer to one, this thing is dropping off the face of the earth. So I understand the limit doesn't exist, right? It's, it's not going to a specific number. But since, but since you're only approaching from one direction, you can tell me the direction the arrow's facing. I know it doesn't exist, but to be more exact, it's going towards negative numbers, negative infinity. And you only do that, you only give me this if you're approaching from one direction, not both. Like the next yeah, like the next one. All right, so now we're approaching one from the right and the left side. So plus and minus. So on this one, as I approach one from the right and left, are they approaching the same number? No. no. Definitely not. So that one doesn't exist. And no, you don't put like infinity or negative infinity because they're going different directions. So I, there's no answer. It's because from the left side, so you're on the Y, you're at one. From the right side, you're at negative infinity. Yeah. yeah. So they don't meet up. So it's not. That was a But if they like both came to one, then it would Okay. All right, let's go to the two from the left side. Two from the left. Where is it going towards? One. As I go from two to the right side. Uno. Looks like it's going to one. Uno. As I approach two from the right and the left. Uno. One. Now, if, if I warned you on the test that it was a very sharp corner, you would say that it doesn't exist. If it was like really sharp and pointed, kind of like a like, the cone like a like a V shape, or uh, maybe it did something like this, where it did something like really sharp, Wait, like that we, limit wouldn't yeah. exist. What would we do if it was magma? Yeah. 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 The lower like, the pitch, the less. This is like a zoomed in version of a like this, but you said yeah. that. They okay, so so they're, they're not quite going to the same number, right? Same. Uh, you'd say it doesn't exist. Okay. So, now, if you approach from one direction, so that side, maybe that would go towards positive infinity. Look at this trail, actually. Maybe it's going this side. No trail. Positive infinity, they were going up as well. But if you're going from both, they don't go to the same number. So. All right. All right. Okay. That was bad. All right. Are we good with six? Seven. Moving on. Okay. Seven. Now, this one, um, so, so Isaac, your question earlier is like, can you give me examples of like top, bottom, right, left, where the, the bottom's too big or the, bottom, or the top's too big? That This is a perfect example of this. Because on these problems, I'm testing that exact theory you were asking about. Because this one's asking, as I go towards the x-axis to the right on this graph, as I go towards positive infinity, as I go this direction on the x-axis, where is this graph going? This requires you know where the horizontal asymptote is. The horizontal would tell me that, if it exists. So, so is the bottom bigger than the top? Oh. Is the bottom bigger? Yes. Yeah, so, if the, if the bottom power is too big, you're going to always approach zero for the horizontal asymptote. It'll approach zero. That's where the horizontal would be drawn. If the bottom is larger, it's zero. Because I, as I go to the right, there is a horizontal asymptote at zero because the bottom was too big. You should do one of those on the first. I should do those on the first. Okay, now let's go to the next one. All of them. The bottom is bigger on that one too. 
that one's one. So, now, on this one, the top and bottom are the same power. So this is that next rule. So if the powers are equal, you divide the leading numbers out front. So in my case, I divide one. nine divided by nine, which is? One. One. <laughs> oh, yes. That's it, and then it. I thought, I thought we'd be you tell me where the arrows go. So if the top is bigger than the bottom, if the top is bigger than the bottom by, let's say, one power, something like this, then you have to long divide. Train is three outcomes. And if the top is too big by more than one, you don't have a horizontal. So now yeah, you gotta figure out which say? direction we go. What do you say that? Okay, so in that case, as I go to the right, uh, if this is the case, right, it doesn't have a horizontal. If I were to just long divide this thing, right where it sits, this would be x to the third, do you agree? Like if I long divide that, x to the fifth divided by x to the squared. That's, a, that's an odd power, right? So my graph would end up doing this. <laughs> Well, how do we write that? Do we just write well, the graph? You just say it's going towards positive infinity because that's <laughs> what it's going to infinity. It's going towards positive yeah, infinity. Just tell me what direction it's going. I didn't know what we were supposed to for an answer. Yeah, you'd say, like, if that was your case, you'd say, okay, the right wow. side is going towards positive infinity. That's, that's what your mind would approach. It doesn't exist. So if it's. If, this one, oh, if the top is too big, you don't have a horizontal. So that means the tail's going kind of every way. And what you have to do is just do logically like divide them. That would be x to the third, right? Well, x to the third graph looks like this. So the right side goes up, the left side goes down. This is an odd power. And x squared graph goes up. Yeah, so I know both tails will go up. What about like x to the fifth? Yeah. Same, it's like that. Odd powers go out of directions. Oh, just like If it was negative, well then the tails would be like this. Yeah, I don't know. see if I can go to Brown. Questions? I've had my hand up so long, I don't know. Is there a long divider question on the time? Could be yes. Can you do one right now? Okay. No, I didn't learn that. Travis, tell your story. Alright, guys. You want to get in front of the sun? Or he's got to shut his camera off. Or, I got a question. Okay, hold on. I got to answer most first. I just. Can I just see if she's in the room? Sure. Okay. Okay, now let's say this is your problem. So. Does it have to be okay. just one? So in this one, the the top power is bigger than the bottom, correct? So if I was to long divide this, this would tell me where the slant's going. So, okay, so it does have a slant because the top is bigger than the bottom by one. So I'd have to long divide, figure out where the horizontal would be a slant. Now, on this problem, like seven and eight, I technically wouldn't have to long divide. Because on these problems, seven and eight, all I have to do is just take and just, just logically do this division in my head. That turns out to be x to the first, right? That's an odd power. So, so it's odd power graphs go up to the right and down to the left. Go, boom. But it's just a line. Yeah, it'd be like it'd be yeah, it'd be almost a line. So if this was your question on this last one, what happens as you go to the right on your graph? This graph's going up. I wouldn't even have to long divide it. Now, if I was doing a problem like number five, and I actually have to make an educated graph of that thing, well, then I have to actually long divide so that I can actually see where the slant is going. Wait, I thought if it's Bigger, the bottom's bigger, it's just at zero. It's always at zero, yeah. Then how would it be the difference? How? What? This is the top one's written. I know, but you said like number five. No, no. If this problem was sitting at number five, oh. then, then I'd have oh, to actually okay. do the long division so I can draw the slant in there and then draw my graph super yeah. accurate. Whoa, yeah. So explain how number seven works again, please. Okay, so on seven, you were doing those four rules that we have for horizontals. You're basically looking for horizontal aspects. And the horizontals tell you where the outside tails go. Because I'm going to ask, as your x approaches either the right side or the left side, where is the graph going? Is it leveling off at the tails, like the horizontals? Or is it going up or down? That's what you're trying to answer. 
and you're trying to do it without drawing it. So, play three, so the, we have four rules. If the top is significantly bigger than the bottom, you don't have a horizontal. So there's no. There's no horizontal. So this thing, as you go to the right or left, the tails are going to go up or down forever. You have to figure out which direction they would go. You tell me, oh, my, as I go to the to the right, this graph, or I guess this one, let's say it is, this graph would be going up to the right. How I know that? Because if I actually divide these, I get x to the third. An odd graph would do something like this. So as I go to this direction, I'd be going to a positive infinity. Okay, so that one. That one. The bottom is the bottom is too big, right? The bottom is too big. So the graph has a horizontal at zero since the bottom is too big. So I know that the tails, no matter what, the tails have to balance to the zero. So my answer is, what happens as you go to the right? My graph better be approaching zero. That's the limit. I'll be going towards zero as I go to the right further and further and further. And you just knew that because x. But yeah, is, because is, this is smaller. Than the yeah, the, the bottom was bigger than the top, so it automatically goes to zero. What do you mean by bigger? Power, degree. Degree is bigger. Oh, okay. And it doesn't have to be by much. No, it could be anything, as long as it's bigger. Is this supposed to snow? Okay. No, it's just So then, if that happens, it's zero. Yep. If they're the same, same power, you divide them, whatever the leading numbers are. So if the leading numbers were 19 and 9, you're going to approach 19, whatever 19 divided by 9 is 2.7. Oh, well, you need to shut the camera. So in that number right there, instead of 1, it's 2. It's 2. Point something. Because you need to be approaching that. Because it's the same power. So for that one right there, where the top is, you just have to my You It wouldn't have a horizontal, so you have to figure out what direction the tails would go. No, they're going up or down. You have to figure out which way. And so then, if it's like that, x to the third, it'd be positive infinity. Yeah. And then what's the fourth example? Fourth example is if the top is bigger than the bottom by one. This is the one that Mo brought up. You can do the same thing I just did. Just long divide it, because it will be a slant. It's a slant asymptote, but it, it still follows the same rule as this. It's positive infinity. Yeah. So they all follow that rule. Yeah. Okay. So the, there's four rules, but really two of the rules are basically the same. It's still yeah, it's still, it's still at the top. The top is bigger, so you, it's either positive or negative infinity. You just have to figure out which direction it's going. Oh, uh, yeah, because if, if it were x4 over 2, yeah. then it'd be... Yeah, so if this was x to the fourth over x squared, and you divided this, turns out to be x squared, now the right and left side is doing something like this. So if my question was, what happens as x goes to negative infinity? Well, as I go this direction, my graph's going up, not down like the other one. I see. Okay, any other questions? Yes. Like that. Is this the same thing? Does this mean the same thing? It's like the original graph where you have an origin and then you go over by four, four points. Yep. But then the last one goes zero and then five. Okay. And then it goes to the middle and makes a graph. So but it's also negative. Like that. I have to write so it like flipped. Yeah, yeah, you got to tell me which direction I'm going. Negative. Yeah, so like so like I'm doing positive. Whole period like this. Pi. Pi. Okay. Wait, so five by four. Okay. Any other questions? Can you give me a few of those? Like one of each. Like number five. Just one of each way, so I can like write it down. Chris would be like, yo, look, Okay, wait a second. Um, okay, well, I gotta do this. Oh. Why not? Because I gotta do I this. Don't give me a Yeah. Don't take me. 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 Don't take me.
I can say it if it's true. It's not as only a thousand Is this what we're just in? You you love my cousins. So I can't even get into any of the scholarship things because I don't know what the names of the I know. He's right. Like I can't get to this guy. I just put, I just put so secondary, I just put secondary education. What? What happened? You can't do it for a while. Oh, you know. That's what happens. I was looking like scholarship. That's what you're saying. Which one? Is this for the last problem they were just in? Do you want examples like five? Yeah, it's wrong. Do you want a different example? I'm not. I was like, I don't want to. Do you have an idea? Is it just the only one that I knew that I would have met? I would laugh as well. I would laugh at my own group. We don't. I don't know yet. I'm not sure you're going to hear me. Yeah. Something like that. I think I can try to use What'd you say? They want a female president. They don't want a child to read some. That's quite the lie. She's not even a woman. 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 Okay, I try to give you one of each. Okay. Right. Bag is this. That's Jake Burst. No I was the locker that was open. I was gonna steal everything out of it, but I only got the bag out before we locked it. All right. He's gonna blame me for that. <laughs> I didn't touch it. It's okay. I'll tell you. I throw it in the every day. Okay. Out, so. <laughs> so when you log divide, you put the bottom one on the outside. Like, yes. That's what you're dividing by. Test.